All right, the purpose of this video will be to find the equation of a line given a slope and a point on that line. So just to kind of think visually here about what's happening is if I were to go ahead and draw my coordinate grid here and kind of estimate the location of negative 2, 5, and then draw on a line that is decreasing with a slope of negative 2, I will have a line that looks something like this. All lines have the format y equals mx plus b. So I already know my slope is negative 2. So now I just have to kind of try to figure out what is this b value. And the way we've been doing it in our class is by using a table and using the slope formula repeatedly to find it. We know that negative 2, 5 will be in my table. Another point in my table is this point right here on the y-axis. We don't know what the y value is, but we do know that all points on the y-axis have the format 0, comma y. So we can put that in our table. We've defined slope repeatedly to be change in y divided by change in x. So since we have a slope of negative 2, we can say that negative 2 equals change in y divided by change in x because we know that's our slope. Now, in this case, our change in y, we don't know what how much it's changing because we don't know what our y value is. So that's y minus 5. The difference between y and 5 is y minus 5. How much does it change from negative 2 to 0? It goes up by 2. 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. Now we can take these two... Um, changes the differences and place them into this fraction and solve the equation. When we solve the equation for y, that becomes the, the y coordinate of our y intercept, which is our b value. So now we can come down here and say negative 2 equals y minus 5, the change in y, divided by 2, the change in x. And now we need to undo what's being done to y y is being subtracted by 5 and divided by 2. So the reverse order of that would be with inverse operations would be multiply by 2, add 5. So those are the steps we're going we're gonna to follow. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to multiply this whole fraction by 2 to rid it of the, of the division. We're going to multiply this by 2 because we have to do it to both sides. So negative... 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 equals y minus 5. And then we add the 5 to both sides. And we're left with negative 4 plus 5 is 1 equal to y. So therefore, that is my b value. So this is my b value. This up here is my m value for slope negative 2. So my equation is y equals negative 2x plus 1.